And welcome back. Well, earlier in the show, we heard from Common Ground volunteer Jordan Clausen about what happens to crops after harvest. And now Jordan is back with a recipe to share. Taryn is standing by now with more. We love Wednesdays here on the show because it's Common Ground Day, and that means we have great <laughs> volunteers who come in and they share some amazing recipes with us. And Jordan, you have a recipe today for a Czech roast. Yes. Yep. And this is a recipe that you and your grandma came up with? Yep, yep. So we kind of combined like a bunch of recipes together and we found this is the best one in our opinion. So we'll have to see what you think today. Yeah, looking forward to it. Okay, how do we begin? So basically we get started and we saute potatoes and carrots and onions together mm -hmm. with garlic. And we put that in the bottom of our crock pot. So we'll just put that in here now and kind of just get it even. Okay. And then we'll take our seared roast and that is spiced with Kinder's um, seasoning. You can season with anything you want to. Set that on top. Do you have to cook it beforehand? No, roast? just sear it. Okay. Um, and that just kind of locks in some of that flavor so it doesn't get lost. Gotcha, okay. And then we'll start kind of making the sauce here. So we'll mm -hmm. just kind of dump and mix. So okay. wherever we want to start, but here's some more. Worcestershire sauce. What's in here originally? Um, beef broth. Beef broth, yep. okay. And then the cream of mushroom soup. Gotta have that in recipes, yes. don't you? Makes it, <laughs> it's kind of like a cheat gravy here. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> and then we use a packet of the brown gravy and it, the brand, you know, doesn't matter on any of this. Mm -hmm. um, and then the Lipton onion soup mix. Ooh, yeah, that's good stuff. And then we'll take the whisk and kind of whisk it together really quick. Okay. And then um, we'll pour it over the top of the roast. And we want the roast to be on low for eight to 10 hours okay. or until it's about 165 in the center. So this is something that you could even prep the night before. Yes, yeah. And then put it all together before you go to yeah. work. So just like today, um, basically we prepped this yesterday and uh, are mixing it together today and then we'll put it on low all day and have it for supper tonight. This looks like, well, depending on what kind of eaters you have at home. <laughs> yeah. But it looks like you could get quite a few meals out of yeah. this. Yeah, so in our family, um, there's two adults and one child, and we um, can get two meals out of this. Ooh, yeah. And as your kids get older, probably. <laughs> probably <laughs> one meal. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right, okay, and then how long again? Yeah. Eight to 10? Eight to 10 hours on low. Okay, oh, I bet it's really tender. Mm, it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's delicious and it just really mm -hmm. has good flavor to it. So I think that's why we like it so it much. It does. Yeah, it's excellent. And this recipe is already on my Facebook page and on the Pure Nebraska Facebook page if you want to copy it down and try it for yourself. Yeah. Thank you, Jordan. Of course. Thank you. All right, for back to you.